Good afternoon friends and welcome to the mid market update from the advisory desk. Uh, today market opened on a green note uh, followed by the last night Dow Jones which ended up by 115 points. As we had discussed the global market in the morning pre-market, uh, today are the Asian indices are trading in the green uh, led by the couple of data that came in in the US. Uh, the retail sales uh, were better than the estimates so that led to the markets opening in the green in the Asian indices too. Hang Seng, Nikkei, Orwell up uh, during the early morning trade. Uh, friends, a market right now, Sensex is up by almost uh, 200 points, uh, led by Coal India, then uh, also banking stocks, uh, real estate, metals, all are participating. Uh, the reason being the WPI, that is uh, the kind of uh, inflation data came in for the month of December at 6.16. Uh, now, definitely that was better than uh, kind of uh, the 7.1 percent that was the expectation. So, uh, this has led to the market uh, in the market that uh, traders and investors are betting that when the RBI monetary policy happens on the 28th of January, uh, RBI governor might not actually increase or un keep the rates unchanged, but he might go for the decrease or maybe that uh, uh, reduce the rates, uh, the repo rate, uh, which will definitely uh, benefit uh, the companies and the economy. Friends, also we have Yes Bank that is going to announce the results. Uh, uh, market estimates are predicting a slower loan and the revenue growth for the bank. Uh, now this has led kind of uh, because of lots of kind of uh, the economy slowing down, not much happening in and around uh, the other parts of the sectors as well as uh, the industry. So all in all, uh, we need to watch out for uh, the YOY growth that estimates to be around uh, kind of uh, 14 to 15 percent loan growth. So. And the, the results might be kind of uh, flashing any time on uh, the TV. So that the stock might be in action today. Uh, lots of volatility and swings might happen in that counter. Friends, so on the numbers part, even the mid caps are participating. Uh, we've seen kind of some action in uh, mid cap stocks as well. Uh, so uh, because of uh, kind of the CP and WI coming in lower than the estimates, uh, the hopes of kind of rate cut has kind of uh, tremendously increased and that has led to the market kind of uh, even the nifty breaching the 6300 mark and comfortably trading about uh, that uh, 6300 level on the spot uh, the best part of the WPI uh, was the, the food inflation which kind of uh, uh, definitely came in at 13.68 versus the 19.93 percent so that is a, a big drop uh, which was exactly uh, kind of estimated by uh, the governor Rajan Friends, uh, all we have is also the DCB results uh, and we have uh, TCS going to announce the results uh, after the market hours today. So uh, we need to watch and watch out for that data as well. Uh, friends, on the rupee front, uh, there is a forex update. We have 61.5 rupee trading versus dollar. Strong and steady out there in this past couple of sessions. Uh, that's all the news and updates we have. We'll get back to you more in post-market. Thanks.